In the prayer of confession, we not only acknowledge our complicity with the brokenness of the world, we lift up to God our frustration and outrage about the brokenness of the world. Our prayer of confession is a lament in which we give voice to our sorrow. Grounded in hope that God has not forgotten us and sustained by the promise that God is redeeming the world even now. The confession of sin is our weekly opportunity to lift up our exasperation to God. What? I'm wondering, maybe if you could, could you write it in the chat? Um, what kind of exasperation do you want to lift up to God today? Are you exasperated by the pandemic? Are you exasperated by the political polarization? Are you exasperated by what? The confession of sin gives us this opportunity to say, oh God, really? This is what the confession of sin does. In the confession of sin, we pray, Lord, this is our plight. Please make it right. Would, would you say that with me? Lord, this is our plight. Please make it right. I hope, I, I hope you at home will join with me in saying that. Lord, this is our plight. Please make it right. So when people go hungry in a world in which there is more than enough food to go around, we join together in saying, Lord, this is our plight. Please make it right. When a pandemic is politicized in an attempt to garner votes and accumulate power and influence, we pray, Lord, this is our plight. Please make it right. When our knee-jerk reaction to those with whom we disagree is suspicion and denigration, we pray, Lord, this is our plight. Please make it right. When lies are accepted as truth, when violence is listed up as a legitimate option for social change, when women and children around the world are sold in twisted schemes of human trafficking, we pray, Lord, in this plight, please make it right. Why is Jesus baptized? Why does Jesus get in that river? Matthew says, to fulfill all righteousness, which means that Jesus chooses not to remain safe on the shore of our lives. Jesus gets in that river because that's where we are. Lord, this is our plight. Please make it right. Amen.